I wanted to create a few videos on how to get started with modern continuous delivery for enterprise Java projects, especially if you come from a real world perspective. And if you want to see how to solve that for real world projects, you might be struggling with how what to choose right now and how to get started with that. You probably have heard of this Tecton technology that you can use for a Kubernetes or OpenShift environment in how to build these um, continuous delivery steps for a Kubernetes native way. So Tecton um, is a very good example on how to do that, especially since it integrates well with the Kubernetes world. So I'm going to use this for my example and I'm going to use Argo CD, which is basically declarative CI CD based on uh, Git, uh, GitOps and which we're going to use to declare the target states in our Kubernetes environment. And what I'm going to use is this um, Quarkus application that is, uh, is called Coffee Testing. So this is basically my testing application that I've been using before uh, for um, a more sophisticated uh, testing example in previous videos. And I wanted to show a more sophisticated pipeline and uh, in general continuous delivery approach that not only includes the build of your application, but also some more complex um, system test environments. So basically what we're going to have um, as our setup is that we have um, two repositories and this is now then showing the idea of this GitOps uh, declarative approach. So first of all, we will have a Git repository with just our app that includes, of course, our Java code and uh, the Maven build files and all these things. And we're going to have um, a GitOps repository as well that I just call Git config here. And this repository basically contains all of the YAML resources and different contexts. So for example, for production or uh, for a test environment um, or as well, the pipelines suggest so detect on resources. So in other words, a lot of YAML files that we then can um, just edit and push to this repository. And then later on, well, push to our, to our cloud, to our Kubernetes environment. And basically, what our environment looks like from an architectural perspective is as follows that we have, well, of course, a Kubernetes or OpenShift cluster, since all of these examples are based in a Kubernetes native way. And then we use this Argo CD technology as a declarative approach, how to do well, this, this declarative GitOps. So it basically means that this Argo comes and takes all of these resources in our Git uh, config and just applies them against a cluster. Can be Kubernetes or OpenShift cluster. So in our case, that means that Argo builds up, well, first of all, uh, all our Tecton pipelines and also then the namespaces for our application. So this pipeline then will uh, run in so-called task. We will show this in, uh, in a few more videos. And of course, the pipeline then uses well, the app repository to build our application and then to make sure that all of this works. And it also uses the Git uh, config uh, repository to make the changes in our YAML files, such as deploying new images and things like that. And then pushes um, the changes to the Git config repository and notifies the uh, Argo um, to just pull the latest changes. And also Argo makes sure that all of our application um, status suggests the YAML files for the uh, production or a test or some other um, projects or namespaces will be applied against our Kubernetes cluster. So that is basically how that um, overall architecture looks like that I'm going to show you um, as part of these videos.